So we all know by now that Constitution Hill won't run at Ascot, but where might he go? Uh, I'm joined now by Nicky Henderson. Nicky, what, are, what could be the plans now? Because you won't really want to take on Epitont in the fighting fifth, will you? Well, if they have to, they have to. Um, I know he, even JP would understand the predicament we have, and he, he's always said he's never frightened of running against our own horses or running himself to in a race. It's not obviously his, but... Um, it's either the, they both go to, he'll join Epitant on the trip to Newcastle, or we could wait to the International at uh, Cheltenham on December the 10th. That puts you too close to the Christmas hurdle. So after that, you have the Haydock Champion Hurdle Trial on the 21st of January. Sadly, I've had a letter this week, which I am sad about, but I could see it happening. The contender's hurdle has been ditched, which is a race we've always used for Bouverdez and Lepidons and all sorts of people. It was just a lovely way into Cheltenham. Um, but we'll work out there are others, not a lot. There's the Kingwall and things like that. Um, we'll I presume see. you wouldn't want to go to Ireland. For I mean, people have said you could have gone to Ireland as long as you don't go against Honeysuckle, you're pretty much going to beat whatever they've but got. But why not? Go? I mean, yeah. I would go against Honeysuckle. If that, was, if that was the ground and the right place to be, then I think we would have to consider it. Because the, the, the really sad thing about this is it has taken, it's put the whole plan, it's yeah. taken the whole plan out of sync. And as you say, then it's the alternative only is either to go to Newcastle and Kempton with Epitaunt running in both. And that's rather, yeah, if it's got to be done, it's got to be done. Yeah. Um, or, as I say, the international, followed by a, a possibly Ireland, yes. Yes, very possibly. Final question, Nicky. Moving forward, jumps racing as a whole, we've got an issue, haven't we? If the planet is heating up, as everyone seems to be suggesting, and this, mm. this summer certainly suggested that, mm. someone's going to have to do something or come up with an idea that allows jumps horses to jump on what you would describe as reasonably softish ground. Yeah. I mean, it, it's just as extraordinary how we've been getting these heavy rains. We thought the the, the autumn, summer autumn period where it was unseasonably dry. Obviously, the summer was ridiculous, lovely for us guys. Frat boys had a tough time, I suspect, finding ground all summer. Um, you know, even from Royal Ascot onwards, it was you know it was very very quick, wasn't it? Um, <laughs> yes, I mean you've got to. Global warming is definitely an issue. There are an awful. I don't understand it. Um, well, everything's getting hotter, Nick. Everything's does. getting hotter. That's <laughs> it's not, not rocket science. Stand out here with you. <laughs> this isn't hot. Um, but, but yeah. but no, you're absolutely no. right. But what can we do? I mean, no. you could go. You know, chucking water all over these race courses all autumn is, is, is not really the solution mm. because when it does get wet in January, there, there'll be an outcry because everything is bottomless and that is the problem of out of watering at this time of the year and we, we've had the last three weekends Cheltenham Newbury and again here it had the rain but I think it just it just vanished yeah. Keith Otterson at Newbury said I cannot believe it it's just gone John at, at, at Cheltenham same thing we've had the rain where did it go yeah well, I mean, anyone who thinks you're bottling this, Nicky, is uh, just the fact it shows you've got a much bigger problem now than you had if you were running. Yes. So um, let's, let's hope it all oh, sorts itself I've dug myself a huge great hole, and I'm sorry to everybody else, you know, the people coming here, and, and we were all looking forward to it. And I we mean, were. So we were with Edward Stone, and I don't know what Ron Presse is going to do, but what looked a very, very exciting card is sort of sadly weakened.